All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you and try to get you to stop doing this. Now, ultimately, you see this a lot with beginners, the squaring of the shoulders during the rotation of the roundhouse kick, or pushing the rear shoulder forward, again, lining them up square with the target. So when you're kicking, you throw your roundhouse kick and instead of keeping this shoulder back, you push it forward, squaring your shoulders with the target. And in turn, that squares your hips. So with your hips and your shoulders being square, you cannot get full rotation or a good whip on your roundhouse kick. So again, people step and then they do this. They push this shoulder forward. Sometimes it's just the shoulder. Sometimes it's this hand that comes here, which I used to do. A more blatant one is when they kick, they shoot this arm up. Now, a couple reasons why that's happening. Number one, you feel like it helps you generate more power. Number two, it's a balance issue. So you're stepping forward and you feel like driving this shoulder forward when you throw your kick is helping you generate some kind of power. So you go to kick and you push this shoulder back towards this leg again. You're here and you go like this and you think that that's getting you some kind of power. It feels powerful because you feel like you're doing like a crunch. So you push this and you kick and, and the compression of your abs, it feels powerful. It feels like you're pulling that leg up with a lot of force. But your mind is in the wrong place. When you go to throw your roundhouse, you wind up like this. So you extend here. Now, by pulling... It's the strength and momentum that whips here. Pulling your shoulder back swings momentum. So you don't want to do this like you're, again, you're like you're doing a crunch so people kick like this. Just look at it. Those are opposing forces. I need to rotate through my kick, but I can't do that because I'm pushing this forward. So this is going this way and this is going this way and I think I'm going to, generate enough power. And remember, a roundhouse kick is a whip. The whip that I need at the end of that kick, the dragon's tail, it can't even get to the mark because this shoulder is keeping my hips square and it's opposing force. It's stopping me. So when your roundhouse kick is supposed to look like this, it looks like this. Right? The second reason you might be doing this is just balance. It's a lack of balance or it's distance. So you're here, you don't feel balanced. So when you throw your kick, you don't feel balanced. So you square your shoulders back up to square your hips and then you just feel safer and you feel locked into that leg. So you're here and you do this. You're here and you open like this. And when you feel square, you feel balanced or you're stepping too close to the target. So you're here and you take a big step, an unnecessarily large step, and you're too close to the target. So you're here, now you're too close, and when you go to kick, this leg is at this angle. So you can't land effectively, so you're, balance, you're, you're losing your balance. You're here. So it feels even more awkward when you do it the proper way if you're too close, because now you're, you feel like you're leaning and you really feel off balance. So you try to center yourself back up because you're too close doing that. What needs to happen, guys, is you need to pull. You set up your kick and you pull. Hip goes forward. You set up your kick. Shoulder pops forward. See how my shoulders both turn, my hips turn? Everything opens up. That way... My kick can whip. Another mental correction you can make is part of the reason you feel like that kick is good is because you are kicking at targets, not through targets. I guarantee if you do full roundhouses with full rotation or what we call pro style where you kick and you reset, right? You don't spin all the way around. 
So full rotation, right? Or you do pro style and just reset. To get that rotation, you spin. So you pull your shoulder to get the rotation. But when you're hitting a target, you're focused on hitting at the target. So if your target's here and you don't train to kick through, where your power peaks at the center, you train to kick at. Then you kick at the target. You go like this and you kick at the target. So I step, both these arms engage, my core rotates, pull, boom, right? I step, boom, step, boom, right? Here, shoulder pulls. My coach in Thailand, I was kind of doing the same thing. I wasn't fully rotating. What I was actually doing wasn't my shoulders were rotating, but I was doing this with my hand. So two things. He smacked me in the head real hard with the pad. One time he knocked me woozy. So because I was kicking in my hand, I was going like, I wasn't fully pushing this shoulder, but I was doing this thing, okay? Which is not horrible. You can block a punch this way, but it's still driving this shoulder a little bit. So I just stopped doing it. So you may not think you're doing that, okay? And your kick may feel powerful and you feel good about it. I know that mindset. I Honestly, I had the wrong kick for a long time. Little micro adjustments that I did not know I needed because my kick was pretty powerful and effective. So how do you find out if it's like, that's a little twerk you're doing? Well, A, pay attention. You should feel it. You should feel this shoulder driving instead of it pulling, right? B, record yourself. Record yourself hitting a bag, record yourself training. You will see what you're doing now that you know what to look for. I'll end with this. I am aware of the cut kick in kickboxing, guys. I did a whole video on my low kicks. Um, I use that kick effectively, I use it frequently. So yes, my, my shoulders stay square when I'm throwing more of a cut kick, right? Either to the legs or to the body. With the, we don't even sometimes use our arms, you hear, and it's just a quick with the elbow, and that's just a cut up into the ribs. It's a quicker kick, it's got a nice snap to it. It isn't like a full traditional Muay Thai roundhouse with all the momentum carrying through. It's just a quicker cut kick up, like I said in a low kick video, right? So my, my shoulders do stay square, right? My foot doesn't pivot. It's got a nice snap to it. it. Takes a little practice. In kickboxing, we like those kicks because they get up there faster and your shoulders and your hips aren't rotating. So it's a little harder to see or predict and in that way, it's hard to block or evade or catch. So if you're like me and you're a student first and you're always just looking to really just dial in your technique and improve it, we're never above the basics. We're never beyond tweaking our techniques to get them better. Remember when we focus on one thing, something in the background is always failing. There's never a time that all your skills and techniques are up here and they just stay there. Things are always fluctuating like this. You just gotta keep tweaking things. So take a look at your technique. If you think you might be doing this, or if you know you're doing it, make the adjustment. All right guys, I hope these videos will continue to be helpful for you. Please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll keep this thing going. And I'll see you guys in the next video.